How's it going folks, it's Antara, and I am here to continue my mission of single-handedly making the entire world as excited about Little Cup as I am. Uh, my opponent today is Pingel Kissa, um, who I met on the Quid Zat. The Quid Zat, by the way, is an amazing place to go if you're looking to find some random person to battle. Um, they're friendlier than Smogon, and they smell nicer too. And so anyway, without further ado, let's begin this battle. Um, I believe this is my opponent's first Little Cup battle, um, but that being said, he did pretty darn well. So, leads off with his Pharaoh Seed, as I lead off with my Hermione, my Dwebble. Um, I'm obviously going to want to switch out, because it's quite obvious what my opponent is going to do here. Set up some kind of entry hazards, or, you know, Leech Seed. But, either way, it'll all get bounced back with Magic Bounce. So that's super duper awesome. Uh, the rocks are on his side now, and my side is rock free. I'm going to go ahead and set up a Reflect here. Um, this is the secondary role of my uh, Magic Bounce Natu, or, yes, Natu. Um, it's a dual screener. Uh, it's a quite effective dual screener because it can't be taunted. Uh, so anyway, he's going to uh, swap out, considering now I put up a Reflect and his Gyro Ball is doing nothing. Um, on the Switch, I'm going to go ahead and set up my Light Screen. Uh, so that's really awesome because now all of his moves, physical or special, are going to be... Uh, have their damage cut in half, so that's super awesome. I go ahead and pull back Mila, and go ahead and send out uh, my Cyndaquil. Uh, he goes ahead and subs on the switch. Makes sense, um, as I go for the extra sensory. Now you might be thinking, extra sensory on a Cyndaquil? That's kind of strange. Yeah, it is kind of strange for Cyndaquil to be running extra sensory. Um, and it does manage to take out his sub, uh, and he's going to go ahead and sludge bomb me. Except for the fact that it's not my Cyndaquil at all. Yeah, he gets the Poison Hex, whatever. Um, it's quite obviously not my Cyndaquil. It's my Zorua. Um, nicknamed Chaos. Chaos, by the way, is an allusion to a novel that I absolutely love. Um, but it also is quite effective here because it really does cause a lot of chaos. Anyway, I really wish I'd predicted the switch. I really could have gone for the Hidden Power fighting. It would have been awesome because I could have KO'd this guy right away, but not, uh, it wasn't so smart. Uh, he goes ahead and sucker punches me. I'm not sure who would have been faster. I am timid, uh, max speed. Uh, I should probably look that up at some point. Anyway, gonna go ahead and go for the Expert Belt Boosted Hidden Power Fighting, which is enough to take out his Hound Hour, and I am super, super excited about that, because now that his Hound Hour is gone, he doesn't have anyone left on his team to be completely immune to uh, eruption from my real Cyndaquil, so that's gonna be awesome. So uh, here he sends out his Easter Egg. I go ahead and go for the Hidden Power Fighting, hoping to KO, um, because otherwise this guy's just going to set up entry hazards on me or whatever. Does not KO. Does not do enough to KO. Um, maybe Modest Life Orb would have done it. But anyway, he um, re recovers his health with Orin Berry. Goes ahead and goes for the uh, Gyro Ball. That is going to be enough to take out my Chaos. Bye-bye, um, Chaos. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and send out my real Cyndaquil now. Um, eruption time, baby. Eruption time. He goes ahead and calls back. That's fairly obvious. Um, he goes ahead and sends out his Munchlax. Um, which I'm thinking, psh, whatever, I, you're still going to get hit by 150 BP of pure, unadulterated awesomeness. So, boom, that does nothing. Did nothing at all, and my Reflect is down. So I'm going to go ahead and call Bernie back. I'm um, going to go ahead and send out Hermione, uh, my Dwebble, uh, as he goes for the Earthquake, um, which hits me only neutrally, so I'm okay with that. Uh, it does a lot more than I was thinking of, but I am I am faster. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Rock Slide, hope for the Flinch Hacks, um, and no such luck. He's going to go ahead and go for the Fire Punch. Earthquake would have been just as effective, but maybe he thought I'd switch. Um, and as you can see, I survived. So I go again, again for the Rock Slide, uh, and that is going to finish him off. Uh, maybe thanks to the fact that it was a crit. Probably thanks to the fact that it was a crit. Sorry about the crit. It's, it happens, though. He goes ahead and sends out his um, Ghastly at this point. Uh, I'm just going to stay in, no point in switching out. He's going to go ahead and uh, slug bomb me. Um, critical hit, useless crit. Uh, that's going to take out Hermione, and that is that. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and send out uh, my Chinchou, um, my EVO like Chinchou, and it's going to wall anything that he has to offer, I figure. And indeed, I only take about 7 HP, so I'm going to go ahead and get off the Thunder Wave. That way, no one on my team is really going to fear too much from him. Um, because he's going to be so slow. Uh, I really should have just gone for the attack, though, because uh, Chin Chao really does have pretty bitchin' uh, 
uh, you know, special attack. Anyway, had I gone for the T-Bolt, I would have actually KO'd, but eh, hindsight is 50, uh, hindsight is 2020. I'm now down to about half HP, gonna go for the T-Bolt here, and just hope that it takes him out, and indeed it does. His eye float, his ghastly is now taken out, and really I shouldn't have done that um, T-Wave. Anyway, he's got his um, gyroballing uh, easter egg back out. I'm gonna go ahead and call Angler back. Um, not gonna let him set up entry hazards. Gonna go ahead and send out Mila, um, and he does go for the dryer ball. I mean, it's fairly obvious, and that's gonna take me down to 9 HP. Uh, so that did a hell of a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the reflect at this point. I'm um, just gonna get my screens back up and hopefully get off a wish so that whoever I switch back out after Mila is KO'd is gonna have, uh, you know, some additional health. Gonna go ahead and go for the wish here. Fully expecting to be KO'd on the next turn. Uh, he goes for the gyro ball. Uh, I survive with 2 HP, and I'm like, oh, well, that's kind of interesting. So now I'm expecting to be KO'd. Um, so he sends out his little cheer, his happeny, uh, as I get up um, my light screen, and just I was really expecting to be KO'd. And but Neela is just being awesome and surviving. And now Neela's gonna get the wish. Gonna recover back to 13 HP. Um, I'm gonna get off another wish, just expecting to take KO at some point. Um, not really much I can do. I mean, there's only one attacking move on this set, and that's U-turn. Um, uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and U-turn because I figured there are other Pokemon that could use the help more than um, me. So yeah, uh, I go ahead and call back Neela. Go ahead and swap out Bernie, um, and I'm just hoping it's. You know, it's time for some serious attacks. He goes ahead and headbutts me, gets me down to 16 HP, but the um, wish is going to bring me back to full. Uh, I go ahead and go for the nature power here, which is Earthquake, this gen. Uh, and I'm just hoping it's going to do a lot of damage, but, you know, it's obvious an e obviously an EVO like set and doesn't do that much. He goes ahead and T waves me, and so now my uh, Scarf Cyndaquil is paralyzed. And I'm like, oh, man. Oh well. But this is a very interesting set that he's running. He's using, um, you know, he's actually doing a lot of attacking, and he's doing a lot of damage. Um, I mean, keep in mind, you know, there is a reflect up. Now there's no reflect up, and he's going to be doing a lot more. Going to go ahead and call Bernie back. Going to send out Neela again, uh, just to try to get the screens back up, because, you know, my team loves screens. I think most teams like screens. Um, but this team especially. So, get the reflect back up. Um, I'm down to 4 HP. He's probably going to take me out on the next turn. And yeah, so Neela had a great run, but I do manage to um, I do manage to get the reflect back up, and so that's awesome. So I go ahead and send out my dark smoke puncture, my ghastly uh, nickname Sean. Um, go ahead and get up a substitute. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and T wave, but I'm behind the sub, so that's great. I'm gonna go ahead and sludge bomb here, see how much damage it does. Uh, and it takes him out. So this was obviously defensive happening. So interesting. Wasn't expecting it. Did pretty well actually, I'd say. Um, he goes ahead and sends his Easter egg back out, um, thinking that it would wall me. But I'm. Do I want him qualifying? No, I don't. Uh, Shadow Ball, sludge bomb, and um, what's the third? I don't know. Oh, uh, sucker punch. The yeah. So. Uh, anyway, he goes ahead and finally, finally sets up his self rock. That must be the happiest little uh, Pharisee in the world has ever seen because it finally got to set up its stealth rocks. So that's awesome for him, I guess. Um, he's down to pretty low HP at this point. Um, one more attack is going to KO. Uh, he's going to go ahead and go for the gyro ball. I'm pretty sure that breaks my sub. Uh, it does. So um, Sean is no longer behind a sub, which is sad. He goes ahead and calls back his Easter egg. Uh, kind of surprising. Uh, and on the switch, he sends out his Mind Foo. Um, Mind Foo? Yeah. Uh, anyway, go for the Shadow Ball here. Hope it does a whole lot of damage. But this is probably an EVO Light Mind Foo. Uh, maybe not, though. It did, did a lot of damage. Uh, although, I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and call Sean back because um, if he's Scarfed, he's going to do a whole lot of damage to me. I don't think he's in Sucker Punch range. Um, he goes for the U-turn on the switch, so he really should have stayed in and just dealt with his uh, Mind Foo. Assuming it's not a Scarf set, which I don't think it is. He goes ahead and calls back. Um, Bernie is down to 5 HP, um, and uh, he goes ahead and sends out his Easter Egg. Now, I'm paralyzed, so I'm not sure who's going to go first. I think it's probably going to be him. Um, yeah, indeed, and he goes ahead and sets up a layer of spikes. So, yeah, this happy little... Um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, is 
living up to his destiny, uh, has set up uh, two layers of entry hazards, and is finally taken out. I'm really glad my attack didn't miss. Oh, and now my reflect is down. So while this battle started off so well for me, now the tide seems to be turning. So he sends out his uh, Lao Fu, uh, goes for the fake out. So this is a fake out, probably EVO light set. Uh, and that fake out is going to be enough to KO. And oh well, Bernie is gone. Sad pandas. I go ahead and send out my lantern here, thinking I can probably, you know, wall him pretty well. Um, uh, I get hurt by the spikes though, and the stealth rocks. So, and he's going to go ahead and recover more health with the drain punch. And I'm like, oh no! So now he's back to almost full health. My angler is down, but now I know that he's not scarfed, so I'm pretty sure that my last Pokemon, this is my last Pokemon here, my Dark Smoke Puncher, my Sean, my Ghastly, is going to be able to KO with a Shadow Ball. Uh, amazingly, he goes first, uh, knocks off, um, I survive with 1 HP, and I'm like, oh, it's a tie, except for he knocked me off. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's crazy, because had he not locked, knocked off that Life Orb, um, okay, so had he not locked off, knocked off that life orb, it would have been a tie game because um, I would have done a little bit more damage and I would have died to the recoil. Instead, he knocked me off, I get to sucker punch on the next turn, and I win the battle. So that was totally amazing. Closest little cup battle I have ever had to date that I've uploaded. Um, and so really, really amazing battle. Um, Pingle Kissa, if you ever want another battle, uh, feel free to PM me. Folks, comment, rate, subscribe, challenge, and play Little Cup!